to five minutes private. Today I'm gonna talk about um, a feature in Teams um, as creating a team based on a, another team as a template and then a future feature uh, coming to the Graph API that is related to Teams, related to kind of creating Team 2, uh, which is creating a team uh, based on a template. It is a more advanced uh, then creating a team based on a current existing team. So if you uh, in your company, um, you're using teams, you're creating teams, you're constantly creating teams, maybe project-based, um, but you do have those uh, small, subtle changes between teams, it would be a lot faster and more powerful to use the new uh, Graph API uh, template to create those teams. Uh, though, like I said, this feature is currently in beta. So the first thing we, that I'm going to show is how to create a team based on the existing team as a template. Uh, in Teams, when you go and create a team and you get to the first setup uh, step in the wizard, uh, you'll have an option at the bottom saying create a team using an existing team as a template. And then you can select which team you want to base your new team on. And then you can choose what features do you want to copy. So you can select channels, apps, tabs, members. Uh, you can change the privacy. Um, and note that if you did select the channels, the messages, the content, the files, and the tabs, those won't be copied from the existing team. You're only using the team as a template. It, it's only copying the properties, the skeleton of the existing team. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and create the team that I copied. And it, will, it is going to ask to add new members, and you can always skip. You could have also selected that you wanted to copy the same members of the current existing team. And there we have it. Now, if you're trying to copy a team, but you really didn't want to copy all the channels, you don't have that option uh, from the current uh, create a team using an existing team. But with the new feature coming using the Graph APIs, you can create a template. And with that template, you can create channels as you like. You can customize everything, most of everything, in Teams using a template file. And just um, gives a little bit more, uh, there's a lot into it. Um, you can always uh, search um, and look at the Microsoft documentations. And if you Google search um, a Microsoft Graph Create Team, you can get to this page and it will show you a lot of examples of a pre-existing um, uh, templates and how to create your own template and how to do the request for it. Uh, and you can use the Microsoft Graph Explorer to actually execute that template that you create. Uh, I'm going to show an example of a small template that I created. Um, and this is my template. It's a JSON file. It's pretty easy to read. Uh, we have this option. It is a template at odata.bind and this is, you must have this and it's kind of the ID of the template and by default you want to add this ID and then that means that you're just trying to create a team, there's nothing predefined in here. Microsoft do provide different uh, options that you can change this last more standard and they do have templates that if you only provide that ID, nothing else, maybe just the display name, which is your team name, it will create a team with specific options. And they are all documented in Microsoft's site. Um, so you can see all the pre-existing uh, templates that Microsoft provides, uh, so like the retail store one. So if you provide that ID, you know that your template, once it executes, it will add a shift handoff channel. It will add a learning channel. You will set the team visibility to public. 
and it will kind of modify the member permissions. Um, and you can use that ID and also add additional channels. So the syntax is you use the channel object and then you give it an array of the channels that you want and you can also go into the channels and have properties and modify those properties of the channel. So in my template, I have the team name that's the greatest group ever. or it's a, just a regular standard team, not a, nothing pre-existing from Microsoft. I have a description, I have three channels. I did set one of them to be favorited. That means uh, if the channel is favorite, that means it will show when you go into Teams and instead of being hidden and you have to click the three dots to see what other channels that there are in the Teams. I do have an app. Um, it's a little bit not straightforward with the apps because you do have to provide the app ID and that one you can find in Azure. And so I'm going to go ahead and execute my template into my team instance and see what that looks like. So you can go and use the Microsoft Graphics Explorer. And if you just Google that, so Microsoft Graphics Explorer, you'll get to the page. Uh, you'll have to sign in. Uh, all you need to do is change the request to be a post. It is the beta APIs and then you make it graph.microsoft.com slash beta slash teams and then you can paste the template in the body request and run it. Now once that run you will get a success code that means that the request was successful and you can see your team in your team instance and it is running, so it, sometimes it takes a little while to see them. But you can see that I do have the general tab, which is by default there. I do have the top priority, which is favorited, and then the other two channels that I didn't favorite, by default, they're there, and you can always favorite them to make it show. Um, you can see in the general tab, I do have the app uh, that was assigned in my template. Um, that's all for today.